What's happening? It's Shane here. In today's video, we are going to be going over the business degree tier list for 2022. And we're going to be including a lot more degrees than we ever have before. So I've been working on my degree ranker version 2.0. I've probably spent over 100 hours on it at this point. Like I'm not even kidding. It's taken so long in order to get this thing right, but it turned out really amazing, so it's totally fine, and I'm completely confident that it is the best ranking of college degrees that exists in the entire world. And I'm actually gonna be using the degree ranker itself, which usually people have to pay for, and you can access that in the description below with the College 101 course, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the degree ranker, giving you a taste of it completely free. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna be going over all of the common business degrees here in the United States of America. And the first one on the list is going to be advertising. There's around 4,300 bachelor graduates per year. And yes, advertising is actually different than marketing. The differences are subtle and a lot of people use them interchangeably, but basically the advertising side of things is gonna focus a little bit more on the creative side and it's kind of a subset of marketing. So advertising is basically the distribution of marketing content. So when it comes to marketing, you'd be dealing with a lot of numbers, you'd be dealing with the product, the price, the distribution, et cetera. Whereas when it comes to advertising, you're focusing more on the creative and media side of things. So of course, in a tier list video, I don't have that much time to get too far into the details. However, advertising is pretty decent. It's not as good as marketing when it comes to the numbers, but but it's still pretty decent. And if you're somebody who wants to focus more on the creative side of things, this could be a good option for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next one on the list, one I didn't talk about before, would be health management or health administration. So this is basically the combination of health as well as business, and this is kind of learning the business side of the health industry. There's about 2,400 graduates every year. Now when it comes to the numbers, this one isn't great. It's also not horrible at the same time. Now to be fair, this is a relatively new type of degree, and there are several different types of degrees that are related to this. Uh, one of them's like hospital administration, one of them's health administration, health management, etc. I also think there's a lot of kind of sketchy schools that like to do this degree. So that probably brings the stats down. So if you get this degree from a better school, it might be a little bit better. But with that being said, you know, when you look this up on indeed.com or monster.com, you know, the number I got, the number of jobs available is about 396. So when it comes to demand, that is not great. So maybe as more people know about this degree, it could be better. But at this time, I'm gonna to have to put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be a very specific degree, which is hotel administration. Uh, this one, about 1,600 graduates per year, and it's exactly what it sounds like. They're gonna teach you how to run a hotel. Uh, when it comes to the number of jobs available here, uh, it's 27. Uh, when it comes to the early career pay, it's 57,000, and mid-career pay is about 89,000. So pay's decent, not a lot of demand though. So yeah, this one isn't amazing. I'm gonna put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be a real estate degree. And the big problem with this one is, in my opinion, it's one of those things where you absolutely do not need to go to school in order to learn the ins and outs of the career. Real estate is something you can get into relatively quickly. And in my opinion, again, the only way you can learn how to become a good real estate agent is to just do it. So the pay can be really good here. Early career is about 54,000, mid career is around 89,000. However, if you look at the number of jobs available, and by that I mean the number of job listings that have a real estate degree uh, somewhere in the listing, it's about 80, which is horrible, right? So very, very low demand score. Um, I recommend, you know, real estate can be a fantastic industry to get into. Real estate agent can be a great career. However, I don't recommend going to school for it. You do not need to do that. So this one is going to go into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be management science and they have about 3,500 graduates per year. So when it comes to the early and mid-career pay, this one is actually pretty decent. 58,000 starting out and 102,000 uh, mid-career. However, when you look at the number of jobs available for this one, uh, it's seven. I think that might be the lowest on the entire list. And the demand score, which I calculate using the amount of people who are graduating versus the number of jobs available, 
is a 0 0.8. It's not even one. To put that in perspective, the demand score for accounting is 127. So yeah, I think this one does have decent stats just simply because of the fact that people who go into management science likely want to be managers and managers do tend to make more money than people who are not managers or who are not in leadership positions anyways. So yeah, this one is gonna go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be agricultural business and there's around 1000 graduates per year. So yeah, another one that is incredibly specific, very niche, um, not a very flexible degree at all. And on top of that, I think agriculture in general, learning the business of agriculture is another one of those things where you just have to do it in order to learn. There's only so much that you can learn in the classroom. Classroom setting is great for learning some things, but uh, for a lot of things, it just doesn't really work that well. So yeah, this one is absolutely going into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be fashion merchandising. One of the many on this list that are new because I got requests for it down in the comments below below. I do read your comments, guys. So, you know, when you request things, I do try to include them in videos. This one has about 2,600 graduates per year. And this one is all about maximizing sales in the fashion industry. So basically planning out, you know, what type of advertising you're going to use in order to maximize sales in a certain place in a certain time period. Apparently there's like 60 something different fashion seasons. Uh, I do two myself, hot and cold, but you know, you know, if, if that's something you're into, then that's awesome. But yeah, this one, um, okay when it comes to the pay, you know, $43,000 a year in your early career and then mid-career pay is about 70,000. The demand score is extremely low. Only about nine job listings had fashion merchandising degree listed. So the demand score was 1.03, which is uh, I think the second worst on this list. But because the pay is somewhat decent and I could see why somebody would be really interested in this, I'm gonna put this one into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be managerial economics. So this one is basically a combination of management and economics, and it's sort of a framework of decision-making uh, in order to maximize the outcomes of a company. So when it comes to the early and mid-career pay, very, very good here. 59,000 early on and mid-career is around 106,000. So actually really, really good there. Uh, the downside to this one is pretty much nobody knows about the degree. And that's why you see the demand score being so low. It's about 6.74. Only about 59 job listings had those keywords. But still 5,500 graduates per year with this one. That's pretty good. And I can definitely see why this one would be valuable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is gonna be one of my favorite degrees, which is management information systems. Early career pay, fantastic, 60,000 mid career pay 105,000, about 7,800 graduates per year. The demand score is fantastic, okay? So 113 demand score, uh, 39,000 job listings have management information systems degree. That is fantastic, especially considering how long it is. You know, it's not like accounting degree, it's management information systems degree. That's four words and yet still 39,000 uh, different job listings had that as a keyword, right? So that is very, very good. Management information systems, fantastic degree. This one is definitely going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be finance with around 37,000 graduates per year. Very common degree. Early career pay is about 55,000. Mid-career pay is going to be 98,000. One thing I will say about a finance degree is it does tend to be a little bit high risk, high reward. And by that, I mean, you know, if you go into the world of finance, there are people who literally make billions of dollars. There are many people who make multi multi millions as well. So if you are somebody who is very competitive, very driven, you know, going into the world of finance can be a good opportunity. It's also extremely high stress. Uh, you know, on the news, everybody's been talking about Goldman Sachs employees working like 80 hours a week and being super stressed out. So that does happen a lot in the world of finance. Now, the number of jobs that mention a finance degree as a keyword is going to be about 95,000. And that means the demand score here is 133, which I believe is the highest on the entire list. So yeah, this one definitely is going into S tier. 
Next one on the list, very similar degree, it's going to be accounting. 50,000 graduates per year, one of the most common degrees. Early career pay is about 51,000, mid-career pay is gonna be about 88,000. Number of jobs available, a little bit lower than finance in terms of the number of them that actually list that as a keyword, 77,000. So the demand score is 127, which is still absolutely fantastic. Uh, just not quite as high as finance. Now, one thing I will say about an accounting degree that does give it a little bit of an edge over a finance degree, in some ways at least, is that it is a little bit more flexible. There are more positions that you can work in if you get an accounting degree than you can work in if you get a finance degree. So yeah, this one's still fantastic. It is going into S tier. Next one on the list is technically not a business degree, but I always include it just because a lot of the times they are gonna be competing for similar jobs, and that is going to be an economics degree. So yeah, I've mentioned this in several videos. Economics degrees have pretty good stats. Uh, not going to go into the details on this one, but uh, they are one of the most common degrees that create millionaires. And it totally makes sense if you understand how the economy works. You know, it's going to help you get good jobs. It's going to help you make good investing decisions. Uh, it might help you start a business. So this one is going into A tier. Next one on the list is supply chain management. Early career pay is going to be 58,000. Mid career pay is going to be about 94,000 per year. About 17,000 job listings show this one. So the demand score is a very, very healthy 105. This is a great one. Uh, learning all about the supply chain is super important, you know, in the United States right now, actually all over the world, but especially in the United States, we're having huge supply chain issues. This is why you see, you know, the price of gas going up. It's why you see the price of food going up. So learning how to efficiently get things from you know point a to point b so that you know things aren't wasted space isn't wasted time isn't wasted resources in general aren't wasted is incredibly valuable this one is going to go into a tier next one on the list is going to be international business now this one is exactly what it sounds like it's going to be business on an international scale so people who are interested in this might be people who would like to live abroad or you like to travel a lot maybe you want to live in japan or france or england and maybe you would want to work for a multinational company. For this one, there's about 5,600 bachelor graduates per year. Early career pay here is gonna be 50,000. Mid-career pay is 96,000 per year. So pretty good numbers there. The demand score is okay. I have it as about a 49 or so. But yeah, overall, this one is not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list, I'm kind of combining two different ones. Um, they're called different things, but basically it's gonna be sales or business marketing. Now these two things as a skill, you know, sales and business marketing might be some of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn. But the only problem is sales, in my opinion, is another one of those things that you just simply cannot learn in a college class. It's something you have to go out in the field and do some on the job training. But with that being said, it's such a valuable skill that I think just the intention of going to college to get into sales or business marketing means that you're likely going to be successful because you're gonna you know, probably try to learn the skill at some point and then eventually you're gonna get a sales job. And so the statistics for this one are okay. Um, overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be marketing. Very common degree, about 35,000 graduates per year. Early career pays about 48,000, mid-career pays about 89,000 per year. There is 130,000 uh, job listings that have this as a keyword. Uh, that is a insane demand score of 146. I, I think I was wrong before. This is actually the highest demand score on the entire business list. So yeah, pay is relatively low compared to a lot of the other ones, but the demand seems to be pretty decent. This one is going to go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be a general business degree, extremely common degree. Uh, the only problem with this one, I've mentioned this many times before, is that it's in the name. It's too general. 47,000 early career pay, 83,000 mid-career. The demand score is a very healthy 112, so decent statistics there. The only problem with this one is, again, it's just extremely general. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be an entrepreneurship degree. And I think you probably know what I'm going to say about this one. Two words. Entrepreneurship. 
Uh, entrepreneurship is another one of those things you can't learn in the classroom. You have to go out into the real world in order to learn it. About 2,600 graduates per year with this one. Uh, early career pay is about 45,000. Mid-career pay is 89,000. The demand score is on the lower side at about 25. So yeah, not so great, but also not the worst on the list. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be business administration. Another very, very common degree, uh, about 138,000 graduates per year. Has the same exact problems as a general business degree though. Uh, early career pay is about 48,000, mid career pay is 80,000, which is pretty low. The demand score, however, is relatively decent. I think the reason for that is because it's just such a well-known own degree. It's almost like the degree itself has its own brand, which can be a very good thing because people tend to kind of gravitate towards things that they recognize. Even if another degree is just as good or even better, if they don't recognize that other degree, they don't know what they're getting. And so they're going to be, you know, going on the side of, you know, erring towards safety and going with the degree that they're familiar with. So yeah, this one again is going to go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be human resource management with about 6,800 graduates per year. Early career pay is going to be 44,000. Mid career pay is going to be about 73,000. So yeah, that's a little bit low there. Uh, and then when you look at the number of jobs available, it's only about 409 mentions, which is a score of 46. Again, that's a little bit on the low side as well. The other problem with human resource management is you don't actually have to have a human resource management degree in order to become a human resource manager. There's many people who have psychology degrees, sociology degrees, et cetera, who try to get into this career path. So you are going to have a ton of competition from other people who have different degrees. But with that being said, a lot of people are very passionate about becoming human resource managers. Um, it is one of those jobs that people really love if they get into it and they're the right type of personality. So yeah, this one can be really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and it's just going to squeak just barely squeak into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be random management type degrees that we haven't already mentioned. So one example of this would be tourism management. So starts off about $40,000 per year, mid-career pay is 58,000. So very, very low when it comes to the pay. The demand score is also pretty low, about eight. And just across the board, when you look at the numbers, it's very low. So yeah, that's something that's extremely unique. So you're kind of, you know, pigeonholing your yourself into a very specific career and then on the other hand tourism management you know becoming somebody who is an expert in the tourism industry and someone who can manage there it's not something you can learn in the classroom so yeah this one and all of the other random management degrees are gonna go into F tier. All right, so this video is running long and I really wasn't able to get deep into the details on this. I will make other videos about that. Uh, most of these videos, I've actually made their own dedicated uh, videos where I just really deep dive into the subject. Uh, so definitely look for that on my channel. Also, this is probably gonna be your last chance to get the College 101 course at a discount. Uh, I'm gonna be raising the prices pretty soon. We have been having just phenomenal outcomes from this course. Uh, some of the reviews I'm getting are just, just awesome. So yeah, check that out down in the description below. Other than that, uh, if you haven't done already, go ahead, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.